Hello folks, this is Sula once again. You're listening to another video for Civ 4, and I believe this is part 17 of our playthrough featuring Willem of the Dutch. Let's go ahead and get started. I think it's been about two weeks since the last video I posted. Ideally, I'd like to do about do these videos about once a week. Sometimes that's not always possible. At the end of the last part, we just finished the, the modern age wonder of Broadway, getting ready to look to take a hand more actively in military matters. There is there was a war that broke out between what was it between Carthage and between Germany, which ended up breaking the defensive pact that Carthage had, which was a good thing, allows us to potentially look to take a hand in there. But before I can do that, I am going to need to build up a, a couple. Um, what would I say? A couple, uh, couple tanks before anything uh, along those lines can take place. Carthage does have infantry. Infantry are pretty tough. So we are going to need to build uh, at least a few tanks first, and there will be they'll build up pretty quickly now that I have factories everywhere. So it'll take a little while, but it shouldn't take too long. Let's see, is there anything else I need to do? Look at this city. Look at how awesome this city has become. It's a really nice city, and I'm still working the two artists for cultural purposes, just to make sure I continue to hold all these tiles. I could put two put the two artists on these on these hills for more production if I wanted to. Uh, can come over here. One thing I realized that I should do is I should probably build a railroad through the middle of uh, Portuguese territory, just one line through their territory to connect my, the two halves of my uh, two halves of my empire together. The AI won't really be able to do that much with just uh, one rail line right through their territory. Wow, ten turns. These wells take so long to build. Might as well do that. Yeah, all right. Uh, the other thing I realized that I can do is we've actually already hit the point on the tech tree where ivory gets obsoleted. Hold on. That's at uh, industrialism. See how ivory gets obsoleted? That means this is no longer a resource tile, and the yield from a camp is pretty bad. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to farm over this camp. Like, I don't need ivory anymore. It's pointless now. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't provide any happiness. So I'm just going to build a farm here, and then that combined with the public transport will get this city out of starvation when it finishes. So now it's a 3-2 tile. Hold on. Wait, why does it get... Yeah, now it's a 3-2 tile. And we'll get 2 health from the public transport. And that should... Where is public transport? Yeah, we'll get 2 health, 1 base, one other one from having oil. And that should do it. That'll drive the city out of starvation. And then this will be fine at size 16. So yeah, there we go. I would like to be able to run more engineers, but... Uh, can't do it, and the merchants are more useful than scientists. Anywho, yeah, so this, oh, these workers are starting to run out of stuff to do, but sooner or later I'll be able to take over some more AI territory, and then they'll be busy fixing all the mistakes that the AI has made in terms of running its territory. Alright, so let's see, one, two, three, four, if I put five on that, it'll be finished in another turn. Alright, so these all connected by rail. This city here is not, so let's get a rail connection to Calcutta. Actually, on this tile. Okay, should be all. I'd like to be able to play through these turns a little bit faster. Uh, so, the city, that city over in the east should fall pretty soon. Hannibal should take over that city from Bismarck pretty soon. Whoa, what's this? He's moving into my territory. Interesting. He's not attacking or would have uh, already gotten the war declaration. Looks like he's just moving units around in my territory for some reason. Now Carthage moves up. Oh, looks like they took Cologne finally. I said it was only a matter of time until that city was captured. Finally has fallen. See, infantry is pretty tough to kill without tanks. Without tanks, it's pretty much can't really kill infantry, so I need to build some of them first. Carthage actually is probably the strongest military power out of these four AI civs here. Probably the strongest just because they have infantry and nobody else seems to so far. Still, with proper support from air units, the uh, their cities will go down pretty fast. I wonder how much longer this war will last between the two AIs. See, Bismarck only has rifles, and rifles die very quickly to infantry. That's a major upgrade in tech between those two. So Cologne finally did fall. It should have fallen about five or six turns faster if the AI were better at coordinating. 
Wow, look at all the production in this city. This is a really good city, too. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that we actually need here before we just swap over to pure unit production? I don't think there is right now, actually. Hold on. Does this give the... No, nope, that doesn't give the... Uh, wondering if it's worth it to build this just because it's so cheap. Actually, I probably should build an industrial park here. No, that would add too much unhealthiness. It would add too much unhealthiness. Let's not do that. Uh, go ahead and build this, and then probably swap over to unit production. I probably should... Actually, I probably should build a few naval units here. I probably should have at least some semblance of a navy in case I need it later. And this is a good city to build it. Public transport... Um... Yeah, I don't see a whole lot that this city needs. I guess I'll just build the courthouse because it's cheap. And then maybe one or two of these espionage buildings and then just straight military. Let's see, intelligence agency. Uh, let's see. I guess I should just build the jail, get it out of the way now before war weariness pops up. Anyway, yeah, and then after that, the city can go over to military too. There's the security bureau. Alright, this city's kept. Doesn't need a public transport, it's fine on health. Industrial park um, would probably add a little too much unhealthiness. I don't think it's worth the effort to build. So do we want this? Mm, go ahead and build the jail. Get that out of the way. Oh, only a library here, so this still needs to build a couple more things. Go ahead and get the observatory done next. Bank done here. Can we build Wall Street? Yes. Wall Street because this is our shrine city. See, we're getting all this gold from the Buddhist shrine. Wall Street's a national wonder that increases gold by 100%. So you want to... It's a natural candidate to put in a shrine city. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty. Keep getting... There it is. Cologne's been captured. Go ahead and take a look at that. See just how many units they lost. Alright, so... I'm going to build the line, this railroad line, right diagonally across here, right through their territory. And yes, you can build a railroad in enemy territory, if you have open borders with them. One of the little funny things about this game that you can, in fact, build roads and railroads in enemy territory. You can also chop forests and jungle. I think I've mentioned that before. One of the little uh, unusual perks of this game. Again, just want to keep vision in the area. Look at all those workers. So, um, again, the AI built cottages here initially and then bulldozed them to build farms and now is bulldozing the farms to build workshops. I tell you, the AI just is insane. Actually, let's maybe we should ship this somewhere else. This is not really that useful right now. Let's rebase over here to Uzbek. It'll be more useful there. All right, let's check this out. Again, I really wish there was a way to skip that animation, short of just turning off every animation. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see, we've got cavalry, cavalry, infantry. Yeah, a lot of these units took damage, but I don't think that uh, too many of them actually died. It won't, be, it won't show up on the demogra it won't show up on the power uh, chart for another turn or two. Yeah, so if this uh, if this stack keeps moving and goes after Munich, they definitely will capture the city. But I'm not sure if the AI will do that. The AI doesn't really have a killer instinct in this game. We'll see. If Carthage keeps attacking, they will be able to take more cities. But oftentimes the AI makes peace relatively quickly. So whether they actually will keep fighting or not, I don't know. Still, I'd be happy to see them keep fighting. Anytime the AI is wasting production by attacking another AI, it's usually a pretty good sign for you. Usually, not always. Sometimes you can get uh, monster runaway empires, but that seems to be much less in Civ 4 than in other Civ games, where you have one Civ just kind of like become so dominant and take over. That's very prevalent in Civ 3 and Civ 5. It's less prevalent in this game because this is a much more defensive game. It's relatively hard to attack in Civ 4. The AI does a pretty good job of defending itself, either against other humans or against other AIs. So you generally don't see uh, huge exchanges of territory in this game. You generally just don't see it that often. It's just hard to attack. Alright, so next time we have the first tanks rolling off the assembly line. Two tanks are going to be finished. And a whole lot of other cities are getting close to being done their infrastructure. 
Yeah, the other city I need to go. I need to send my workers to come help out this city too. This city needs um, it's fine for right now, but it needs more production. It needs to do needs to mine these two. Anyway, let's keep going. Once I need uh, so I need to research flight and then uh, radio, which gives me access to bombers. And bombers plus tanks will shred pretty much anything that's on the field right now that the AIs are are uh, are using. It would just be laughable against rifles, even against infantry though. You can do a true blitzkrieg in the modern era sense with um, bombers and tanks. The AI just doesn't stand up to it very well. All right, so it looks like they're going to keep pushing forward. There they go. All those Carthaginian units moving north. Yep, it looks like he's building another stack over there in the west. It'll be fine. I might be able to um, come in behind Carthage and hit him while his army's up there in the north. Anyway, I'm not too terribly worried. The tanks will get very good odds on anything infantry related and with air support it can just turn into a slaughter a lot of movements a lot of unit movements no one else seems to have a industrial era navy yet though like all I'm seeing is galleons and caravels and that sort of thing I'm not seeing any destroyers or battleships as yet there's a huge jump in this game from the era of steam power, or excuse me, from the era of sail power to the era of like oil and steam power. You pretty much jump from 8 strength galleons, no not uh, not galleons, 8 strength frigates up to 30 strength uh, destroyers, and it's a bit of a large jump. Ugh, okay, I think I'm going to turn off animations because this is really irritating. It's just taking so long for the AI to move its units around. You can train your first armored unit a tank. They are the strongest units available. And it's like, yes, that actually is correct. They really are. All right, is there anything else I need to build in the capital? No, not really. I mean, I can build the public transport. That'll give me more health. But the city can't really grow much further anyway. Note that it's already working just about every tile that it can. It's not working this tile, unfortunately. So it might be worthwhile to grow another. It's probably, OK, it probably is worthwhile to grow another size and work that tile. So all right, we'll do the public transport. Here, though, Rotterdam. This city is pretty much maxed out. There we go. 149 production. Almost able to one turn tanks. With overflow. With overflow we can build it we can build about two tanks every three turns, roughly. And they all come out with 15 XP. You know, this city's probably fine to build a tank too. I don't really see much else it needs. Yeah, see I have I have turn on avoid growth enabled here because I don't want the city to grow. That's a very rare case, but there's no more tiles for this city to pick up. And if it grows another side, it's going to be in food deficit. It's going to be losing food per turn. So it's better just to cap it there. It's sort of a rare case where using avoid growth is uh, something you want to do. Okay, not too much else to build here. Minus damage from air units. Dry dock if you want to build naval units. Don't really need to build naval units here, though. Uh, this city looks fine. All right, time to go over to military production. Start building the tanks. And eventually we're going to hit this point with just about every city, and that's when the game starts to snowball. When you're just like tank, 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 pretty much everywhere. Alrighty, what else do we need? Uh, this city can't grow unless it gets more, uh, let's get more health, so let's do a grocer. That'll add four health to the city. Where's of Mutal? Oh, well that's pointless. Alright, while well, this is going on, options, graphics. But not graphics. Where is it? Show enemy moves. Okay. Oh, Bismarck just did a big time revolt. Theocracy, state property. Interesting. I wonder if that's because he's losing so badly in this war. <laughs> Alright, let's get that. Now you. There. That is one thing I can do is I can have the two animations run at play at the same time. All right, hold on. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's see. One infantry, a bunch of calves, trebuchet. One calf. Pretty stupid. And then, if, oh, they pillage this road over here. Infantry and two calves, they pillage this tile. Meanwhile, all the units are healing here. Okay, this is not a trivial stack, but it's not... Bismarck should be able to fight this off. We'll see if he decides to go for Munich or Berlin. I don't know quite which way the AI is trying to go here. His catapults aren't going to be very useful, though. Oh, well, we'll see. Bismarck needs to, um... He probably should go into nationhood and start drafting. That would be the most useful thing he could do. Let's just see what civics he's running. 
here we go. Bismarck, he's running suffrage, bureaucracy, emancipation, state property, theocracy. Okay. Not terrible choices, but they could probably be stronger. All right. And then here, there's our first tank. 28 strength, 15 XP. Can start with City Raider 3. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Can start with City Raider 3. Now, that's scary. You do not want to see that if you're playing this game. You don't want to see tanks starting with City Raider 3. Very difficult to stop that. Of course, I will need to, uh, Of course, other tanks. Uh, I'll probably... The 5 XP tanks that don't come out of the Heroic Epic City, I'll probably promote them Combat 1 Pinch. Just because they can only take two promotions and use them as uh, units that, to fight in the field. We'll see, though. Alright, over here. Yeah, I'd like to turn this into a water mill, but if I water mill this, it cuts the um, irrigation chain to all these other farms, so I can't actually do that. Oh, wait a minute. No, no city can even work this tile, so it's a, it's a moot point. Doesn't even matter. Right. I'm just keeping an eye on the AI. I'd like to be able to see what they're doing. I'd like to be able to see where they have their units placed. Okay, so we got them. Got that done. Uh, let's see. This city still badly needs its lighthouse and granary. How much does that cost? 39 gold? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Fine with me. Universal suffrage is nice sometimes. All right. Interesting. I didn't expect to be suddenly shifted over to that part of the world, but okay. All right. Like I said, I want to be able to rally units over to the eastern part of my territory faster. Oh, there's another tank. Now we've got three. Let's get up to about 10 or so. Then we'll look to see if we can make our move from there. It'll also give me time to put that rail, push that rail line across. I will probably eventually put a couple of these workers just on Fortify, just standby. Mutal, I think, is okay. I don't think we need to redo any of the tile improvements here. This would be nice to put a, a, um, a water mill on, but I can't because it's on the diagonal, and you can't put water mills on diagonal. Only on the corners of rivers. Okay, now this will get this city connected to the rail network. Hard to tell which workers are mine and which ones are, Port are Portugal's right here. Just have that little unit flag, and that's the only thing telling which is which. All right, almost done. And then I need to railroad these two tiles, too, even if they're not in my territory. This tile will eventually go into my turret control, 41%. It's been slowly increasing. Eventually, these two will go over to my control. These two, I'm not as sure about, maybe. But these two definitely will, because they're first string to uh, the city of Bombay, which is about to expand borders again. Oh, hmm. Yeah, the problem here is it just doesn't have food. It just needs food. That cow tile would be really nice. All right, anyway, let's keep going. See what the AI does on this turn. Wait a minute, I thought I turned off moves. I thought I turned off show enemy moves. Didn't I just set that on the graphical preference thingy? Oh, well, it looks like it didn't work. I'll have to go in the settings again. It's still showing all the enemy unit moves. Look at all those knights riding around. It's so silly. Knights. <laughs> oh, somebody's got a airship. Carthage is an airship. Interesting. Now, what is he doing? Now it's like he's... I don't know what... Alright, so they are moving forward. Looks like they're moving on Berlin. Ooh. Moving on Berlin. Hmm. And pillaging more stuff. <sighs> That's the one downside to using the airships. It's awesome to be able to get the extra visibility, but it's not nearly so much fun to watch every single unit the AIs move around. A spy has been counted. Okay, so the... Near Middleburg? Hmm. Looks like it was either a German or a Carthaginian spy. I still don't know why the AI wastes so much time. Anyway, we finally have enough espionage points to be able to see Louis's research. We can see what he's researching. Normally you hit this much earlier in the game, but the AI has just spent, has spent so much on espionage in this game, it's taking a, an unusually long time to be able to see what they're researching. Uh, I could do without that whole notion of being able to see their research in the late game. I think it's a little bit silly. That at, by the end of the game you can see what everyone's researching. It's a little bit silly. 
come on, this is taking so long. Yeah, I definitely just want a couple of ships because I don't want to get coastal blockaded. Wow. There goes an airship. Got rebased somewhere. Yeah, the one thing that this reveals is how silly the AI is. Like, it's constantly tearing up its own... It's constantly tearing up its own city improvements, or tile improvements, to build other tile improvements. Alright, this city is done. Does It needs no more buildings. It's fine on everything it's built so far. So, even though the production's not that high, just stick it on tanks for now. This city had its factory sabotaged by the AI, and I had to rebuild the factory. And now it's losing health, so I've got to build the public transport. But then, then finally can go over to military. Actually, you know what? Ah, I clicked on the wrong thing. Hold on. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. If we're going to build naval stuff, we have to build a dry docks. Dry docks builds water units 50% faster and gives them experience. So any city you're going to build naval units in, you want to dry docks. That's what I'm going to look to do there. Here, uh, let's see. Let's get the jail up. Let's put us the jail here. What else do we need? All right, it's not losing health. It doesn't need public transport. It is going to need a barracks, though. How much overflow do we have? Yeah, I don't want to build the barracks. It'll waste some of the overflow. Let's get the intelligence agency and then a barracks after that. Observatory, good. University next, I think. University or bank? We'll just do the university next. This city does have an academy, right? Yeah, it does have an academy. So I want to get those multipliers for beakers up in this city. There's the observatory. Let's get this uh, public transport done. This is just an outstanding city. So I need to build a bank here, too. Alright, there's the granary. Now we need the lighthouse. And that's pretty much all this city's ever going to get in terms of improvements. Alright, here. I clicked on machine gun by accident. Um, I'm going to build tanks, but so I don't have to keep coming back to this city ever again. Or at least frequently. I'm going to alt build tanks. If you click alt and then click on a unit, it uh, just says keep building this endlessly. So if I alt click a tank, then I'll just keep building tanks over and over again. And that's what the little star means. So there are a lot of little production short keys, uh, hotkeys and shortcuts in this game that not a lot of people know about. You can add things to a build queue by control clicking. Like, let's say I want to queue up stuff after the lighthouse. It's, I can say, uh, I, want, uh, I want a harbor, and then I want a forge, and then I want a factory. And it just will put it in the queue, and that's control clicking. So you can do this. If you know how to use the hotkeys, um, you can queue up stuff and you can manage your cities much more quickly. I tend not to do that because I like to look at the cities. Every time that I build something, I generally like to take a quick look at the city. And let's go ahead and see, where's the show? All right, show friendly moves and quick moves. Okay. Hopefully this will speed stuff up. All right. Anyway, yeah, there we go, the quick moves. Speeds up the animations. Now that we've got a gazillion units running around in the late game, it's more productive to speed stuff up. All right. Yep, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Yay, that's what I wanted. All right, now we get to see. We can explore, and we can see everything. It only takes like one second. All right, that gets us up to four tanks. Building railroads in the desert. Actually, you guys build separate ones, so don't have to issue more commands. Yeah, um, let me just take a quick look at this city. Yeah, this city probably has too much food right now, so we can workshop one or two of these tiles. I. Th yeah, yeah, this is a little bit too much food, I think. Hmm. This is yeah, this is probably more food than I need. But I can't really water mill that because it cuts the irrigation line. I will experiment. Let's try to build a workshop here and see just what happens. See what the effect is here. We'll try it. There we go. Alright. I'm just finishing connecting this. And then I need to go and... Alright, well, we want to improve these mining tiles. I think that Calcutta's working this. No, not working that tile. That one will pick it up next turn, maybe. Yeah, look at this poor city. <laughs> this is really sad. Could buy the lighthouse. Maybe I'll run a little bit extra, a little bit more gold and just rush by one or two cheap things down here to get these cities going. All right, here we go. So this will finish the railroad line now. All right, now I can move my units down on this line. And while we're free here, let's railroad those two tiles too. 
All right, so we keep an eye on what's going on with this movement over here. So it looks like this stack is headed north. This this stack is probably not strong enough to take Berlin though. Not on its own. It needs more uh, needs more infantry. Maybe if all the defenses get bombarded out. But Bismarck has a fair amount of collateral. He should be he should be able to stop that. I don't know why he's not killing this stack as it slowly pillages its way to the north. The water's ah, another city got its water supply poison. That's so so irritating. Like it doesn't do anything. It's just really irritating. Which one is Utrecht again? I'll have to check that out. Tank. Actually, do I want to alt build tanks here too? Probably. Yeah, I don't really see anything else I need to build here. Just alt build tanks here for right now. Three turns. This city finished its tank. Uh, I don't. Yeah, there's nothing really more to build here. Let's just alt build tanks here too. University. What else does this city need? All right, it's a little low on food, or a little low on health. I'm not sure it's worth the effort to build a public transport. Oh, we need a bank, duh. Build the bank for sure. This city, Leiden, is behind. It needs the forge. That means it's going to need factory next. Yeah, this city's never going to develop that far, but that's okay. We'll just get what we can out of it. Grocer, that solves the health issues. Nice. Okay, what's next? Library, that's cheap. No, I don't want to stop the war against Bismarck. Go for it. Keep fighting. Seriously, by all means. Which one is... Ah, this city. This freaking city. Minus 10 food per turn. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. All right. Freaking poison the water. I mean, ah. Like, this is just the dumbest mechanic. It doesn't, like, it doesn't do anything except irritate you. Except make your cities, uh... You got a great general? Hmm, I wonder where the fighting was. Anyway, note that we did no, now no longer have to wait between turns to watch a gazillion AI moves. Let's find out what just happened. Uh, oops. What the? Recon mode? There we go. Well, the, it wasn't responding when I hit uh, R for a second. Okay. Looks like these units got attacked here. The stack is still slowly moving north. Something attacked it because the infantry is not full strength. I still wonder what Bismarck's going to do. He should be able to stop this. Should be able to pick off this stack pretty easily, actually. All he has to do is hit it with his siege units and then flank the flank the uh, stack. Oh, well, we'll see what he actually chooses to do, though. All right, railroad. Railroad that. Okay, these needs to be mined. The city needs more production, not more food. All right. Now, unfortunately, see, you can't do anything with tundra tiles. You can build a fort, but you can't build any improvements on them. That's because tundra really stinks. And look, see here, same thing, ice. That's why these tiles are really bad. Not the tiles you want. Um, yeah, I need to send them up to this city. Well, no, Harlem is actually getting some. A little bit of love up there right now. <coughs> this this tile though can be improved. Send uh, at least one unit up there to start building a railroad. All right, so this city's losing food, but it doesn't have a public transport, or does it? It does have a public transport, okay. So it's a little, a little low on food, hmm. I guess I'll leave that as is for the moment. I guess I'll leave that as is. It'd be nice if I could get a tile back. It'd be really nice if I could steal another tile from one of these cities, but I don't think I'm ever going to be able to. Just too much culture built up. All right, well, this will take 43 turns to starve down, so I guess it's probably okay. I'm not even sure if the game will last another 43 turns. If it does last that long, I'll just go ahead and uh, fix that. I can always refarm it if need be. Oh, there we go. Another tank. Uh, yeah, you can come up here and chill, basically. Okay, you move onto this hill and start railroading it. I'm actually going to need three of them to railroad it next turn. So these guys don't have a lot to do right now, but they will if I start taking over AI cities and I'll have to go in and start rearranging those tile improvements again. 
Okay, so now we've got the mine. Wow, seven production on a tile. You don't see that too often. Seven production tile. Hmm. Very, very interesting there. Okay, um, I guess I'll leave that there for the moment. Yeah, I don't really want to cut the food surplus any lower than that. So he can move up here and help railroad. There we go. Alrighty. Now, this city. What can I do about this city? Not a whole lot, unfortunately. There's just not tiles to work. And I've already irrigated just about everything. I'm not... I could farm over the iron. That'll give me a little bit of extra food. And I can... Yeah, let's do that. Let's farm over the iron for right now. I can always re... Yeah, I can always re... Um, Remind that afterwards. That will help out some. That'll give me two extra food. I also might need to borrow a tile here. Let's borrow a tile from the capital temporarily. This will make the capital stagnant. We will borrow this tile just for right now. Keep the city from starving. That'll give me three food, and then I get another two food from mining, uh, irrigating that, and that should be enough to keep it from starving down while this idiotic water poisoning thing is going on. Anyway, this will get us flight. Oh, did we just hit the modern age? Yeah, just hit the modern age. Gotcha. <laughs> Once you have tasted flight, you will walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. There you have been, there you will long to return. Something about recording these videos causes there to be a, like a tiny amount of echo on the tech quotes. I'm not quite sure why that is. Anyway, so flight lets you build, well, flying stuff. <laughs> Aircraft carriers. Flighters, bombers, and airports. Now, to build bombers, you also need radio tech. Bombers, of course, are very good at killing stuff on the ground. Fighters are designed to protect bombers. Uh, usually, you just build a lot of bombers until the AI starts building planes. Usually, they don't do that for a while. So, uh, bombers are generally the more important tech to get. In a situation like this where I'm uh, far out in front in tech, bombers are much more useful. So, we're going to go for radio next as part of that. All right, public transportation. Now, finally, I can start. Oh, you can build airports. What airports allow you to do is airlift units, and it's a pretty cool ability. You can basically you can move us move one unit from uh, from your city to any other city on the map. It's a pretty neat ability. It also what is it? Also gives air units experience. Also allows you to what is it? Also allows you to um, gives you an extra trade route as well. Not terribly useful in this game. Anyway, for right now gonna go with tanks but I probably will want to build at least a couple airports later okay all right so I'm gonna start building some naval units here um, I'm gonna go with some destroyers because I I don't think I need battleships just yet and destroyers will work just fine against the AI uh, ships that they're fielding right now and they're cheaper to build than uh, they're a little bit cheaper to build as compared to battleships all right tank this is actually a prime city. Oh, but it's just balanced on health. I don't really want to. I was going to say this is a great city to build an airport in because it's so far away from the front lines, but I don't want to mess with that health. So we'll leave that alone for right now. Intelligence agency. This city would be a good place for an airport, though. Let's get the barracks first. It's cheap. All right, there's the public transport. I'm going to keep growing onto those tiles. What else do we need? Just need the bank here. Library. Uh, doesn't need a market because it's happy. Go ahead and do the observatory. Succeeds. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look at this. Bismarck's able to vote the, an end to the war. Bismarck's able to vote an end to the war because of the stupid apostolic palace. That's really dumb. All right, so war's over. Apostolic palace. Pretty dumb. Uh, apostolic palace is just a silly game mechanic. Really wish that that had not been put in the game. It's just way too easily exploited. Delhi expanded borders. Yeah, so Hannibal made peace, even though he didn't want to. Oh, well. So, no more fighting. One of the more interesting things going on in the game comes to a stop, thanks to the Apostolic Palace wonder. A little bit silly. Alright, let's go get up there. I'm going to keep you guys in the area to remine that. Yeah, alright. So now Utrecht is only losing two food, and it'll be okay. But we will remine that a little bit later. Alright, so crisis averted. Just made, just, just caused more tedious micromanagement for me and ended up doing nothing in the end. So again, game designers, any would-be game designers out there, try to avoid mechanics like this that don't actually do anything other than irritating, um, you know, other than creating busy work for the player. Try to avoid that kind of thing. Okay. 
and then come on down here. Um, yeah, not too much going on over here. Okay, I think we just about have enough. I think they have just about enough tanks to start moving them forward now. There we go. And, yeah, there's not too much for this guy to do right now. Like I said, I don't want to rework any of the other tile improvements. This city needs a dike next pretty badly. Turn all these water tiles into production tiles. Look at that. Look at the modern era windmill. I like how the graphics change as the game goes on. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll send this guy down to the extreme south. I do have railroads on just about every tile along the border with uh, Carthage. So that's a good sign. Yeah, I've got everything railroaded here. Everything's railroaded up here in case I need to move around. Look at that little bizarre pocket of Portuguese culture there. You get weird stuff like that in this game sometimes. Uh, yeah, just come down here for the moment. Hang out. What's this city more likely to need? This city actually is probably can use a mine more so than a windmill, despite what you might think. Wait, what the? Oh, there. It's like, where's this unit that's being highlighted? Alright, let's see, what do we have down here? Not too much. This area down here doesn't have too many units. Most of Car where are Carthage's units? All in that city for right now. Alright. Well, so let's grab these units and let's get set them to work. Not that guy, because he's already moved. Okay. Let's start moving down here. Wait, why can we only move to here? Should be able to move further than this. Okay. Why can't we move another tile? Okay. Yeah, alright, that's what I was expecting. Okay. Alright, so we're going to move these guys down here, and they're going to link up with this big cab stack that's still left over. And you, my friend, can start coming down here, too. Oops, I didn't move them on the railroad. That's silly. Oh, well. Okay, anyway, units are moving out. And it looks like I'm going to have to drop down science for a turn. We'll just run it at this percentage. So, unfortunately that delays radio a little bit. But I might be able to tick it up. And still get it in uh, three turns instead of four. Okay, tank in Amsterdam. Does Amsterdam really need to build anything else right now? No, I don't think so. Keep building tanks. Middleburg, anything you need here. This would be a good candidate for an airport, actually be able to airlift units directly to the front lines. Let's go ahead and build an airport here. That way, instead of having to move units to the front line, I could just airlift them there. Barracks here. Yeah, cities way back here are good candidates for uh, airlifting. Also, I probably need at least one city on the west coast building ships, too. Not Lakamba, though. Not this city. This city's a little too weak on production. Uh, yes, go ahead and build that airport. Yeah, this city, Mayapan, probably should be building ships, just so I have some kind of navy on the west coast, in case I start seeing ships, just to, just to hold um, some, just to be able to defend that west coast, if, if AI ships would start to show up. I think I will try to do that. Alright, so, yeah, there's not anything for these guys to do here. So... Oops. Con control click. You guys come on down here. You come on down here. You guys keep uh, keep on scouting out here for me. This guy uh Go have him queue up on go to down here. Well, this looks like this tile just passed into my territory. Not that it means that much. Okay, you come on down here. That works. Okay, vision there. Yeah, these workers, let's see, there's railroads all along the border, right? Yeah, for the most part. 
I'll just keep railroading down here. I will have need of you soon. Just not yet. There we go. Railroad's still due in three turns. Yeah, you guys just chill for the moment. Down here. Okay. So here's the big stack. Alright, so the route we're going to use go for Utica. Let's move right Wait a minute, we should be able to get further than that. Why is it indicating only... Alright, yeah, okay. Alright, so this is good. Chill out right here for right now. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Railroad up on the border here. I don't have to worry about units moving on tiles that are non-railed. Which is kind of irritating. Oh, more tanks. Look how many tanks I have. Yeah, just queue them up. I'll just keep queuing up units and send them to move towards Delhi. Uh, all right, let's grab the let's grab this stack. Oh, and by the way, these calves will still very much be useful. Definitely still be useful. Again, I don't know why it keeps showing that they can't move further. They can easily move here. All right, so that's pretty good. Got a lot of two movers here, and then the infantry can come in behind. All right, so this is good. This should be enough to move out initially. I should be able to move out initially with this. And again, with uh, my airships providing vision. Oh, I know, I need to rebase my airships down here. This is no sense. Uh, all right, well, I can do that next turn. I can rebase all the airships down to this area. All right, so that should be fine. Yeah. And, design, and we'll just start going on the offensive, and we'll see what happens. Now, war weariness will start to creep up, of course, as it always does. But uh, I've got a decent amount of extra happiness left over. And I'm going to be able to put up some of these wonders that also help with happiness. I definitely want all of these wonders. Eiffel Tower is really good. Rock and Roll is really good. Christo Retender is freaking broken and shouldn't be in the game. So I'm going to assign a couple cities to building those wonders once I get to Railroad. And note that I just got a huge uptick in gold. That's because I just finished Wall Street. I've just trained my first naval unit, a destroyer. Yeah, needless to say, I didn't exactly emphasize naval stuff prior to uh, late game. That's all I get here? Hmm. Lose power solution. Okay. I guess I'm just short of being able to two-turn that. This city here, I actually do... Um, geez, I was going to build a destroyer, or going to build a dry docks, but that's going to affect health. Uh, I guess we'll just keep building tanks here for now, then. University. What else do we still need here? Still need a bank. Still need a public transport. Go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, for right now, do that, what else do we need, oh, still need more health, go ahead and build that, there's Wall Street, so this city is now, now producing 160 gold per turn, 13 of that comes from the slider, and then the rest of that comes from the shrine, yes, it is nice to have those shrine cities, alright, build the university, and uh, this city is going to need to churn out those Buddhist missionaries. I want to convert as many cities as possible. Most of my cities do not have Buddhism in them. Okay, where is the dike? There it is. Twelve turns. Constructive observatory. Do the university. Alrighty, let's... Uh Let's get uh, some intel first. Recon this. Rebase this down here. Great spy has been born. Recon. Wait, oops, that's not what I want. Re. No, that's upgrade to a fighter. Rebase mode there. I want to rebase one of these down to here, and the other one I'm going to use to recon. Right there. Give me a little bit extra vision. Okay, I can basically see all of their territory right now. Alright, the Dassault. Destroyer. Naval unit. Up. Oh, looks like Hannibal just got, just got to, uh, he j must have just gotten to combustion, because now all of his units suddenly got upgraded from uh, pathetic um, pathetic, easily killed wooden ships up to the new 
uh, up to the new, what's it called? Modern era ships. Okay, well that'll make things more difficult. Just move here, protect my fish for the time being. Go there. Okay, yeah, Car this will not be too easy. Facing off against Carthage will be a bit messy at times, but hopefully numbers will carry the day. I do have a much larger army. Let's just check the bar graphs first of all, power. All right, yeah, so this is me, this is Carthage here. Now, notice how Carthage went down a little bit from fighting, and then this big uptick, and what looks like it was upgrading all the naval units to destroyers. The egg gets very cheap upgrades in this game, very cheap upgrades. One of the cheats that uh, I resent somewhat. Okay, well, anyway. You declared war on our friend. Let's discuss something else. Does this mean war? Yes, declare war. The other, the other guys aren't going to like that too much. Yeah, see, Portugal didn't like that. Louis didn't like that. Bismarck might like that. Nobody really likes me that much in this game. I had friends earlier when we shared had shared religious ties, but not so much now. Look at all these freaking espionage points invested in everybody. I'm still not even close to seeing the research on most of these civs. Just even out the espionage points. I don't really care that much. All right, so now that means it's time to start picking off units that are on the border. And I don't think I have air support. I should have done this better. I should have had air support in place to put a hit onto these units. Still, that's what the tanks are for, right? Or right, let's see. How about this guy here? I have movement to hit that guy? Yep. Oh, no, wait. This is a city raider guy. Never mind. That unit's already moved. I like to keep my super promoted, my 15 XP guys for, uh, well, we'll make an exception. Combat 2 plus pinch. Only 69% though, not too great. It's because he's got, um, wait, is he on a fort? He is on a fort. I was going to say, wait a minute, why does he have that, all that extra bonus? Okay, oh well, we still get 70% odds. If this tank dies, he wasn't fit to be in our army anyway. Nope, wasn't fit to be one of our soldiers. A little bit unlucky there. Oh well, it's the way the cookie crumbles. That guy was dug in on the border. Alright, this guy will be pinch promoted. And yeah, note that when he's not fortified in a fort on the border, all of a sudden I get 99% odds. So, Let's take that guy out. Now what would have made this easier if I, is if I could have bombarded this guy with um, planes. It would have softened him up for the tanks to take out. Okay, yeah, let's use one of the. We'll use one of my infantry to take this guy out. Promote pinch, pinches plus twenty five percent versus gunpowder. Oh, he can't hit that guy. Or he, oh, he. That's right, he can't. He's on the wrong side of the border. Huh. Oh well, it's okay. Use one of my calves to do the job. Fifty six percent odds. Ah, he's got a chance to retreat. Works for me. Wow, seriously? Come on. I'm embarrassed for your but I'm embarrassed at your pathetic performance, you guys. This is just sad. The fact that you need that this many guys have died trying to take out that guy. Attacked twice at over at uh, high odds and lost both times. And then of course I win flawlessly when he's low. Oh well, to be expected. Alright, so let's grab all the fast movers. All the fast moving units and send the send the stack forward. The slow-moving guys can come in behind. But we want to try to blitzkrieg this. There we go. Move forward. Oh yeah, that's the um, great that's the medic. Uh, oh yes, I should promote one or I should promote the guys. I should pinch promotions on some of these guys. Okay, so that didn't go as well as I hoped, having to lose two units to take out one there, but, eh, it's life. I 
I really need to take, um, I need to take this first city, Utica, so that I can, um, get rid of this stupid tile right here that's standing in the way of my territory. Now, if the AI is really smart, it can crant, shove a bunch of units into that city on the rails. We'll see if it's smart enough to do that. If it's just three units, it'll fall very quickly, but I don't know if that will be the case. Oh well, we'll see. These workers are going to swarm in to improve tiles once I have a little bit of that Carthaginian territory on my side. Yeah, see, I can't move these. These guys are stuck on the wrong side now. That's okay. You can just hang out here for right now. Another tank. Again, I'll just cue this guy to come move down here. This music sounds depressing. <laughs> I don't like the modern era of music as much as some of the other eras in this game. It's okay. Uh, but I like the Renaissance and the industrial era music the best. Now oh, this guy's got a long way to go. A long way to go. Still, he will be moving across rail, so it won't be the end of the world. You need to rebase down to here. Okay. Let's grab the rest of this stack. Start moving. Protect that guy with a tank. All right, let's see what this. Let's see what Carthage does. So he's gonna attack me there. I should win this battle, but then I'll attack again and he'll win the second time. Yep, that's unfortunate. That's basically what I expected to happen. I should win the first one, then lose the second one. Train to tank. Any war weariness yet? Thankfully, none yet. Train to another, train to another tank. The Hague. More tanks. Need more tanks. Must have more tanks. <laughs> as soon as I discover radio, I'm going to switch almost all these cities over to bombers. You'll see. More tanks. When in doubt, build more tanks. <laughs> Luke Small. Let's see. We're going to need a barracks at the very least. I am going to need to build some ships here on the western coast. I'm trying to pick out which city. Well, apparently people love going to war. Your tank was attacked by an enemy airship. Your tank was attacked by an enemy airship. Has reduced your defenses in Varanasi. Where's that? Oh, he's bombarding this city. Oh, interesting. He's got a bunch of units. Oh, so he's looking to go after this city. Alright, well. A farm has been destroyed by a marauding Carthaginian cavalry. Where was that? Oh, here. Okay, whatever. It's not too scary. Well, he didn't... He failed to reinforce this city properly, so this city will fall. It only has four infantry in it. 60% defenses are no. It's not going to be enough. Alright, so we want one of these to recon. So I can see what's going on. Ah, oh, freaking destroyers. This is going to be so irritating. I'm going to get coastal blockaded. Look at all these destroyers. I'm going to get coastal blockaded. I'm going to get coastal blockaded here. I freaking hate coastal blockade. It's so irritating. Um... Not much I can do about that. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be so irritating fighting this guy. If just because he hit combustion, like the, the the turn I started fighting him, and all of his wooden ships that would have died in two seconds now suddenly are destroyers because the AI gets incredibly cheap upgrades in this game. Ugh, it's gonna be very irritating not having a navy. Whereas this guy does. Yeah, there's gonna be a huge pain. Again, if he... Wow, that guy, that's a Combat 4 destroyer? What freaking A? Are you kidding me? Alright, so naval combat pretty much sucks in this game. Um, because destroyers are so much stronger than everything that comes before them. Now, I can clear the seas of these destroyers, but I'm going to have to build a lot of battleships, and it's going to be a real pain in the... In real pain. <sighs> okay, well, I will be able to do this, but... Uh, if he had not teched combustion, this would be about 10,000 times easier, is all I'm saying. Yeah, he still doesn't even have democracy or biology or electricity, but he did tech combustion, and that makes things very, very irritating. 
Oh, okay. I guess that's what I get for picking a war with the strongest of the AI civs. Alright, well, let's split the stack here. Go ahead and recon here. Yeah, for some... Okay, they pillaged the fish, but they didn't coastal blockade, which they should have done. Coastal blockade is like the most broken, most broken thing. One of the things that I really do uh, begrudge the AI is its cheap upgrades. It's really unfair that the AI can just upgrade like every single unit like for nothing. Strike mode. Okay, so I can't bomb out. Okay, so you can't bomb out the defenses. All right, that means this is going to be pretty much a slaughter when I send these units in on the attack. Actually, no. Note that the City 3, even with 60% defenses and no bombardment whatsoever, I still get 70% odds with, with uh, City Raider 3. But, of course, I still lose because I lose every combat. Of course. It would be nice if I could win some of these 70% for a change, you know, because I have odds and everything. Alright, finally. I barely won that one. Yeah, so this is going to be a slaughter of my units, like an absolute slaughter, but I'm going to send them in anyway because I need to take this city to get rid of the cultural borders. Although apparently, I was going to say apparently I won this, but no, no, the animation was just being cutesy again. 66%. Nah, nah, we're not going to win that. We're just not going to win anything when we have odds. Just going to lose every battle where we have odds. Uh, anyway, it's fine. I will win these. I've just lost, like, every coin flip battle possible right now. Um, always a bit frustrating when that happens. Alright, so why do you keep these old calves around? It's because, well, they're actually still pretty useful. I mean, they can still move two tiles up. You know, they can still have two moves. And these combat four calves are actually still pretty useful. You know, they can mop up red line defenders like this. Now, I wish I hadn't had to lose, like, five tanks to take this city, but I needed to grab this city. See what's in here. Oh, there's a ton of stuff in here. Yeah, we definitely want this city. Stolen new governor. That'll be in resistance forever, but that's okay. Seven turns. All right. See, I needed to open up this. I needed to get rid of that culture. Like I had to be able to move through these tiles. It was 100% necessary. And even if I had to take heavier losses in order to manage that, you know, so be it. Okay. Now I have access to this territory, and now I'm going to clean up this infantry and cav stack. Let's start using. Let's use my uh, fighters here to soft, soften this up. Yeah, so airships hit units almost as hard as um, as fighters do. Not as hard as bombers. Yeah, look at that. 15%, 17%. Alright, so they're able to hit this city. Hit them and reduce some of the strength. Now I need to move in the workers. I need to railroad along this line. Oh, there's another unit here too. Okay. Well, we'll just kill that. Alright, you come down here. 91%. Is there a way to get better odds? No, it's not nearly good enough. Um, do I have a tank here that's not... Yeah, one of these guys. Again, I'd like to save my 15 XP guys for City Raider promotions, because City Raider's really good. You saw how effective the City Raider ones were. So, let's promote this guy. 96%, that's much better. Let's kill this guy. Wonder why that guy moved in there. Alright, let's move this guy up. Alright, now, rails. Yes, I need to put rails under these. I need to railroad these tiles. So this is where, this is why you keep the workers around. So that you can build railroads in a pinch. Okay, well, I've got a rail on that tile. Yeah, you guys down here. You know, can stop building those uh, railroads in the tundra that I just put you on for busy work purposes. Now I have actual need of you guys. These tiles have now gone into my culture. Alright, and one more. You. Up here. Okay. You guys, too. I could use these guys, too. Yes, good. 
Railroad and you. Ah, he already used up all his movement points. Oh well. That's okay. We got rails on most of these tiles. Alright, this guy's already attacked, but tanks have blitz, which means they can attack more than once per turn if needed. Alright, let's see these guys. Can these can this guy hit this stack? No, not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that is very unfortunate. He's one tile away. Ah, oh, well, that's okay. How about this guy? This guy can. And this guy? No, he can't. Okay. So it's going to have to be this guy. 87%. That's not so great. But. Pinch promote, and now it's 99%. Alright, so that works. Oh, wait! Tanks get the Blitz promotion innate on the... Bl tanks start with Blitz promotion, so you can attack again and again. And this is why tanks are so freaking overpowered. So we just attack again with the same unit. Kill this guy too. Well, that was easy. And now I still have movement points left over, so he can now move up and rejoin the stack. Uh, okay, not. He can't actually do that. So I'll just move him into the city. For a little bit extra defense. Alright, now we gotta protect these units that are wounded. Unfortunately, that tank. Unfortunately, the tank can't move forward. All right, we're gonna take our giant, big old stack here and start moving it forward. Wow, why is this city so low? Well, it must have been bombarded down by the Germans. Let's see. So, the fastest way to get. Oh yeah. All right. So let's start moving this stack forward. Uh, against Carthage, I'm gonna probably want to bombard down the defenses. So let's move this big old stack forward. Um, I will take out one or two infantry units, though, and use that to protect this city. One. Some of the ones with less XP. Do these all have 15 XP? Wow. Nice. Okay. All right. We'll put two in there. That should be enough to hold that city. Two infantry. Probably. I don't think the air will be able to mount a credible... Move, oh, and a machine gun, too. Yep, two infantry and a machine gun. That should be enough to hold that. Okay. That city should be pretty safe with that machine gun in there. All right, so the rest of this stack. Um, I want to put one other infantry on this tile to protect the wounded units. Combat 2 pinch should keep that pretty strong. All right, now the rest of you are going to start moving up towards Carthage. As for these guys, you guys can um, protect this small stack there. Keep that together here. Okay. This guy. Go ahead and join that stack. Okay, you can... Well, you don't have any movement points. <laughs> you guys, oh, you guys can come down here and help me out. Mm. Go ahead and move there. If they get captured, they get captured. I have enough workers. I'm not going to protect every single worker stack. Oh, another tank. Nice. Alright, come on down here. You. All right, let's see, where does he actually have units that could hit some of these worker stacks? Right. You protect this group. You protect this group. Yeah, you protect this group. And you protect this group. Just have a unit sitting on the workers. So they don't just instantly get captured. The yeah, A would have to at least win a battle to take them. Alright, keep moving down. Keep going down. Oh, there's another tank in here. We'll keep moving forward. Look at all these tanks. <laughs> Just trying to queue them up. Alrighty, and this guy hasn't fought a battle yet at all. Yeah, come join this group here. Alrighty, so there we go. We got the first city. Let's keep going. I'd like to play this particular session until I can get up to Carthage and attack it. So you need two more turns to move up. And then 
we can start hitting the city, which is also fairly lightly defended. Oh, uh, the other thing I have to do is let's I gotta get start getting more ships built. Uh, we're gonna need some of these sh cities to start building ships. VJ Onagar is a primary candidate for that. So let's put that university on hold for the moment. Build a dry docks instead and then start cranking out some destroyers. And over here on the west coast, I need to pick a city. Let's do Mutal. Yeah, Mutal we can... We'll use Mutal after it finishes its public transport. It can do a... Do a dry docks next. So we gotta start finally building a navy for the first time in order to counter Carthage. He might have some ships, some units on that ship, but even if they land here in my back lines, I can use, um, what's it? Let's shift one of these infantry over to this city, just because Calcutta is a little bit more exposed. Fortify in there. I still have another infantry. These elephant cities would be in trouble if they got attacked. The, now, you can attack directly off the boats in this game. You suffer a combat penalty to do so, but you can attack straight off the boats. I don't know if the egg will be clever enough to do that. We'll see. Oh, all right, so he is attacking this city. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see. Again, that's why I stuffed some units in there. He withdrew from combat. Uh, machine guns are immune to collateral damage, so that's not going to do anything. Hmm, he's attacking with more units than I thought he would here. Oh well, if he captures the city, I can always recapture it. Oh, I guess he is going to take this city. I didn't think that he would send this many units at it. Again, that's what railroads can do. Yeah, I didn't expect him to send this many units at this city. Interesting. Alright, so this city will fall. That's very irritating. Apparently he just took every single unit and threw it at this city. Ugh. Okay, well that was a huge pain. Alright, we gotta look to see how many units are stuffed in there. Yeah. And there's a gazillion ships sailing around. Alright. Queue up mass media. Now we're gonna need... This city probably keeps building tanks. You build me a bomber. I need bombers now. You are going to be my naval city on the west coast, dry docks. No, that's too much. I'm going to lose too much overflow if I do that. Build me a bomber first. University. I'm sure I've got war weariness now. Yeah, this, that's for sure, definitely going to happen now. Let's go ahead and get the jail up. Just a way to ameliorate that. Alright, so. How many units are actually in this city? Not many, but it still smarts to lose that city at all. Meanwhile, now here comes all the, uh, here comes all the destroyers sailing around. Sailing around my cities. Okay. Your tank was attacked by an enemy airship. Your machine gun was attacked by an enemy airship. Let's reduce the defenses in Varanasi to zero. Let's reduce the defenses in Calcutta. All these freaking, freaking destroyers. Well, I guess we're just gonna get a gazillion messages about that, are we? Yep. Okay. Well, losing that city is a pain, not just because it went down, but also because um, the defense, not, yeah, uh, one of the issues is the cultural defenses all magically reappear in the city after it gets captured. Um, but not just that, because all the buildings, most of the buildings have, like, disappeared, too. Okay. Yeah, he threw most of his army at me there. He's just got all these, so many freaking infantry. And the r problem with railroads is, again, they can concentrate all your force at one point. Alright, so we got to take this city back. And unfortunately, my tanks are not in great position to do that. Because I was not expecting to lose that city on the interturn. Yeah, look at all these units that have, like, no health. This whole stack here 
is like totally out of the picture because it's one tile away from Utica. Uh. All right, well. Let's start killing these units. This is messier than I expected. But like I said, Karth is just putting up a pretty good fight. And as I said before, the AI is pretty good at defending itself in this game. Only 30%. I'd rather not throw away a unit that highly promoted. 29%. Alright, so there's, yeah, there's like one unit that's still strong in this city. So we'll die, we'll lose this tank attacking. But we should do some damage to the city. Not as much as I was hoping for, though. Psh, only got in like one hit. I was hoping for a lot more damage. Alright. Got that hit on the city. What are we looking at here? 96%. Sure, we'll go with that. Took some damage, but it's still okay. 79%. Let's not risk such a highly promoted unit. 98%. Oh, come on. I'm not seriously going to lose that. Okay. See, the city has lost a lot of its infrastructure, unfortunately, as a result. Every time it gets captured, it loses some of it. Stole a new governor. Okay. All right. Now, again, this stack is completely unable to do anything to help that city, which really stinks. But what I can do is I can railroad into the city. I can rail these two tiles. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll allow more reinforcements to slip into the city. And tanks, of course, do not get any defensive bonuses. They only get bonuses on their offensive units. So they don't get anything uh, on the defensive. All these poor little cities down here at the bottom are starving, thanks to all the uh, naval units that are coming in there and attacking them. Anyway, I'll be able to kill this with a battleship next turn. The other cities, not too much I can do. Where I need another worker. Bring me a worker to railroad this tile. Alright, there we go. Now I have a path into this city and I can move reinforcements into it. Okay. Again, these units can't really do anything to help this city, so I'm just going to keep pushing them forward. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of injured units here. Which are pretty much all going to move into the city to defend it, while also killing these units. Yeah, alright. Here's what we can do. Okay, so let's hit the units we can that are out in the open. 3%. Oh, I guess I can't hit, can't take them any lower than that. Yeah, there's a cap on how much damage you can do with um, with airships, and the cap is you can do more damage with bombers than you can with airships. All right, we'll have this unit heal for one turn to be up to full. Okay, you move into the city and then start attacking. 99%. Yeah, the infantry die much easier when they're not behind huge, huge defensive bonuses. All right, so this unit was barely scratched. Let's uh, we can attack. No, see if I attack. Wait, yes, I can attack again. Yeah, I can attack again. I was thinking I'd get stuck on that tile, but I actually can attack again. Alright, so let's attack. And then you, similar deal. Come on up here. 99%. Yeah, it doesn't feel so good when it's when it's on the other foot, huh? When I'm the one who's attacking and killing your dudes. Alright, now see, this guy, I don't want to attack here because if I attack again, my tank will end up end his turn on that tile and it'll be vulnerable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my extremely elite uh, cavalry units here. I'm going to kill, kill it with this guy and then I can move back into the city afterwards. See, so watch, instead of getting stuck on this tile, you can now move into the city. Just a minor little thing. There we go. Be safe. Alright. Yeah, so. Is there any way I can get some infantry up there? Yeah, let's let's move and move an infantry from here. Up there. Get a little bit more infantry. This city's relatively safe. 
The only thing that could hit that would be... Yeah, he doesn't have railroads on these tiles, which he should. So the only thing that can hit this city are calves. He did bomb out the defenses, but, you know, there's not too many calves. Oh, most of his calves just died attacking me. He doesn't have too many of them. He's got some up, one up here. He's got some units up here, but... They're relatively out of the fight, even with... Even with, um... Railroads, they're, they're relatively out of the fight. You know, like, like calves up here. Like, these units right here can't really get into the fight. Again, this would be also much easier if the war with Germany were still going on, because that would be pulling units up there. Okay, anyway, this guy... Let's move him in here. We can have him rest up in the city. Uh, these guys are a little too close to the border. Why well, not? I can... Could, let's see, is there a cab that could hit them? Yes, probably. I want to refarm this tile, but... It's a little too risky right now. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep these guys near the border. Like, I'd like to be able to farm some more of these tiles, fix some more of these tiles, but it's a little too risky. I'd prefer not to see these guys get captured, so just hang out down here for the moment in a safe position. Alright. I think we can remine this tile. Utrecht should be okay now. There we go. Alrighty. More tanks. Keep the reinforcements coming. Okay, this guy is a little bit injured. Get in that city and help defend it. Get back to a position of safety. Oh, got that tile done. Alright, just move back. Okay, this guy needs to heal. This big stack. Um, yeah, we'll move them in here, into the city for right now. Help defend it. defend that. Now the only thing is I do have some workers exposed. I've got three workers on that tile. Let's see if we can move one of these guys, one tank to defend these workers. Okay. This tank was likely to get picked off and killed. That's unfortunate but if it happens, it happens. I'm more interested in holding that city. I don't want to see that city fall again. Did I just get this tile from the Portuguese? No thought maybe. Why is this city now starving? Shouldn't be losing this much food. Did I lose a tile to Portugal somewhere? I think I just lost this tile perhaps. In any case that means I'm gonna have to get rid of that workshop down there. Oh well I can do that next turn. Anyway, let's just move, just moving up these tanks, rallying them all to Delhi. There's not really much for these workers to do, just building railroads, just, just because, basically. Oh, more tanks, okay. Alright, you cover that worker, just because. Here comes the X. Here come the reinforcements. Nice. Oh, I got a lot of reinforcements coming. Look at all these tanks. Hee hee hee. Roll out the tanks. Just keep building them over and over again. Okay, so these guys will move up next to Carthage, and then I want to move my healthy tanks up next turn. Good, good, good. This is all good. A dike progress was destroyed by an enemy infiltrator. Oh no, that's Bombay. It's been building that forever. <laughs> The city that's been building a dike literally forever. That's so sad. Oh well. Okay, I need bombers next. I need like a lot of bombers. Battleship. We need another battleship. Um, let's see, more bombers. I need bombers. I need like lots and lots of bombers. Airport, bomber. Oops. I need like 15 to 20 bombers. Ah, here we go. Alright, rebase. 
re rebase to Varanasi. Infantry has been attacked by an enemy airship. Your tank was attacked by an enemy airship. As reduces the defenses at Delhi. He's just sailing around bombing all the defenses of these cities. A fishing boat has been pillaged. It's reduced the defenses at Doristad. Yeah, see, he's bombing out the defenses and pillaging some of the fishing boats, but not all of them. Yes, thank you. Thank you for telling me this. Okay, now where did his... Where did his... Oh, there it is. It's a freaking... It's a deli. Okay. Right. And Louis did a civics change. Okay. Okay, where's my battleship? Alright. All right. Wait, I need to see if there is another ship in Kirkuan. I need to know if there's another ship up there. Recon. Okay. Come on, battleship, battleship. Is there a ship in here? No, there is not a ship in here. Okay. Alright. You freaking battleship down there, you are freaking gonna die. Or, this destroyer is gonna die. I've got a battleship, and battleships are what sink destroyers. I'm gonna freaking die next turn. Okay. As it goes around tearing up all the nets. Note, however, the war weariness is already skyrocketing. Actually, after mass media, I need to research fascism, and then I need to build Mount Rushmore to deal with this increasing war weariness. Okay. Alrighty, so... The AI has responded by running all of its units away and making no attacks. Perfect. Alright, moving up next to Carthage. Whoop! There goes all the tanks. Okay. Now, injured units are going to heal with my great general medic. Where is that great general medic? He is going to hang out. This guy is going to hang out in the city. And everybody else is going to move up. Everybody who's healthy is going to move up. Separate the group. Healthy units move up. Move up. Wow, a lot of these guys at 17 XP. That's right, I was farming XP at the end of that last war. Now, I do need to leave enough units in this city that it doesn't get recaptured. So, we'll leave a couple. I'll just stick a couple calves in here as warm bodies so it's harder to take the city. Okay, this guy obviously needs to heal. This guy needs to heal. 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 Move up. Move up. He can take another promotion. Fortify. Okay. This guy's pretty beat up. But I'm sending him forward anyway because he's combat. He's City Raider 3 plus Combat 1. My most promoted uh, tank unit. Okay. Right now, I don't see any units to bombard. This guy, is actually, this guy can move on up. Uh, I guess I can airstrike these destroyers. Well, actually, the destroyer was the, the destroyers can actually fight back. Yeah. There we go. There's some damage to the destroyer. That's right, it's what you get. Coming into my house. Okay, move up. Alright, down here looks to be safe enough to repair this farm now. This guy move up. No. Alright, then defend the city. Nope, defend the city. Okay, you guys can probably go ahead and take railroad this tile, probably. I don't think an attack is going to run that far into my back lines, although it could. It could, I suppose. We shall see. Still, I'm expecting any attack to come against Utica. Move on up. You three. Get down here where it's safer. Farm. 
Ooh, more bombers. Or uh, more tanks. Excellent. Can never have enough tanks. They are the main line attackers. Alright, bombers. Good. I, I, my bombers will... You will see my bombers in use next turn. They'll be able to start uh, hitting. Rebase. There. Rebase. What the heck? Why isn't it not rebasing? Rebase. Rebase. Why is it not rebasing? Don't tell me this is another one of those idiotic features that doesn't let you rebase beyond a certain distance. What, can I not rebase beyond a certain distance? That would be stupid because then that would just be more micromanagement. Rebase. Ugh, it won't let me rebase to this city. But it will let me rebase to Delhi. Okay, that is really dumb. Really, really dumb. So now instead of rebasing in one turn, I have to rebase over two turns. Very stupid. More tedious, completely pointless micromanagement that serves no purpose whatsoever. Uh, there are some things that are an improvement in uh, the expansion. Some things that are just needless busy work and needless complications. Like this, not being able to rebase beyond a certain distance. Very stupid. But I can rebase to Delhi. Okay, whatever. Very dumb. Alright, anyway, should be able to take Carthage next turn. Okay. Alright, throw your units. That's a mostly defensive stack anyway. Trebuchets don't do very well when they're not city attacking. I do have machine guns in that stack, too. With true. Okay. Nice try. Yeah, I am going to need to get that tile back. In a minute. Okay. Keep this city on tanks for now. Dry docks. Get me some battleships. Unfortunately, because they're fielding... Um, Destroyers, battleships are like the only thing that's useful to build. Okay, public transport. Now this city's stagnant. That means I don't really want to mess with na naval stuff. Okay, we constructed a jail. Yeah, the city's going to starve because all the water tiles are being pillaged. Don't you worry, though. We're going to get some battleships out, and we're going to start killing those ships. Caraval. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to freaking kill this well, I'm going to bombard it first. I'm going to hit that destroyer. Okay. So it had 78% odds. Now they're 95% odds. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we sank that, sank that ship. That will help significantly with the starvation. All right, Bombay, you suck, but what you can do is you can build some workboats in order to fix the damage being done to these cities. All right, so that's one of his ships sunk. Yeah. Still, let's see, still moving these ships around, but I will be able to start fighting back. I've got one battleship up. I'll have two more finishing in the next two turns. Why is this city suddenly starving? Oh yeah, I gotta replace the workboat there too. actually buy the workboat. I'm going to buy the workboat next turn when I don't have to pay the double swapping penalty. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't. The cavalry has damaged seven of our units by flanking our defensive position. Yeah, it hit some of the catapults. That's fine, though. These units will heal up just fine. I didn't even promote most of that infantry. Alrighty. Let's recon so we can see. And let's recon over here. Alright, now. Now it's time to start using my bombers. Wait, my oh I couldn't get any bombers into this city? That stinks. Ah. Won't be able to hit Carthage with them. Alright, anyway, so let's split the group. The main thing I want to do with these catapults is I want to bombard. Oh, there's a freaking castle in this city! Oh my god! Oh my god, there's a freaking castle in this city. Of course, every AI city's got a freaking castle in it. Whatever, we got the defenses still down from 80% to 65. 
still. Good lord. Freaking castles. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I don't even see the castle. And it's still there. Jesus freaking Christ. Ugh. Ugh. I hate that so much. Okay. Alright, anyway. So my bombers can't get close enough to the city to do anything. That's just lovely. Alright, well, in that case, rebase over to a place where you can actually do rebase to Utica. Alright, in that case, we gotta start sending in the units, sending in units to die. Let's see. City Raider 3. 25%. That's all? I only get 25%? Alright, well, let's wait another turn then. If I can't get better odds than that, I'm not sending him into the meat grinder to die. Nope. Yep. I'm not going to attack this turn then. Let's get another turn to bombard down the defenses. Move up our city mate, our uh, medic 3 unit. Where is he? Here he is. That'll heal all the collateral damage. Move up some more tanks. Yeah, and that should work just fine. Okay. Two infantry in here. We'll keep these extra calves in here as warm bodies to make it harder to take the city. And the tanks that are full health. Move up. Move up this guy. Move up this guy. Move up this guy. This guy. This guy. All right, yeah, I feel much better about waiting another turn to attack. Heal. You can't quite heal yet, so let's promote, then heal. Similar idea, yep. Promote, then heal. 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 All right, the rest of these guys will be fine with another turn. Okay. This city is largely getting back to normal again. It does still need another work boat. No, wait, no, this city never had a work boat. My mistake. Okay, as soon as I take Carthage, I can start moving in and fixing up the tile improvements back here, but it's not too safe just yet. Okay, Maastricht. Why is this city still starving? This should, city should not be starving still starving. What what change that caused the city to suddenly start starving? Hmm. I must have lost a tile somewhere. I must have lost a tile somewhere. The city should not be starving. I must have lost a tile somewhere to one of these AIs. Culturally. Hmm. Yeah, the city should be okay. Oh well. Not quite sure how to change that. Oh, wait a minute, I know what it is. It's because I don't have, uh, I lost my, uh, health resource. Right? Is that it? Did I lose my health resources? Yeah. Lost my source of crabs? Right? That's it? What am I... Let's see, I've got, I've got fish. And clams. Yeah, I lost my source of crabs. That's it. Okay. I have to reconnect those crabs. That's why I'm suddenly losing health everywhere. I'm trying to figure out why. All these cities that were, like, precariously balanced on health are now suddenly losing it. Okay. That was it. Alright, whatever. Let's get this attack done, because this video is already going on for an egregiously long amount of time. Anyway, I should be able to reconnect my seafood resources pretty soon. I just gotta sweep all those stupid destroyers out of the way first. Be gone with you workers. Okay. Keep moving these guys into Utrecht. Utica. Actually, I can probably start rallying units to Utica now. That'll mean a little bit less micro busy work. Alright, you guys just chill for this turn. Let's push the front forward. You've got to heal. You guys, I can actually probably rebase. Wait, no. Did I just upgrade that? Ah. I don't like that this icon for fighter looks almost identical to the unit for the icon for rebase. It's literally almost identical. 
I don't like that at all. Should have designed an icon that looks a little bit more different. Okay. Keep on moving up. Okay, that city is going to be pretty safe with all the units that are moving in there. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, you guys just chill here for the moment. Let's see if I can move you up next turn. Okay. Up, oh, Hannibal's about to discover. Fine, I finally have enough espionage to see what Hannibal's charts. Okay, this city should fall next turn. I'll be able to hit it with a bomber. To reduce the defenses and reduce more defenses and I've got a gazillion tanks ready to attack so the city should fall it's not being talked about okay and then we're gonna need fascism to deal with war weariness I could use some more bombers I need to get up to about 20 or so bombers you know, all these cities that were balanced are now slightly out of balance. Where is it? Bomber. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, I... Let me examine my city first. Oh, I actually didn't want to finish this. Yeah, alright. Battleship. Get some battleship, sweep the seas, clear. I don't even know where these guys are going. It's like they just moved through and then pillaged all my stuff, and then now they're just, like, leaving. Very strange. Okay. Alright, anyway. Recon. Fighter. Can my fighter bomb the city? Yes. Tank was attacked by an enemy airship. How many? Okay, so there's a lot of defenders in there, but that's fine. We can probably clean up the entire... Probably wa uh, wipe out all those defenders. Especially if I can manage to get the defenses down. All right, bomb mode. Oh, it's just out of range? Are you kidding me? It's out of range? Oh my gee. Freaking. <sighs> Rebase to Utica. <laughs> Whatever. strike mode. Alright, bomb. So look how, look at that. One bomber takes out, takes the defenses down that low. Like, one bomber is, is worth the equivalent of every single catapult I have sitting here. Oops. Yeah, one bomber was worth the equivalent of, like, every single catapult firing at the city. Still, I've gotten the defenses, like, halfway down. Ah, uh, I wanted to rebase that. Jesus Christ, why does the icon look exactly the same? It is literally the same icon for rebase and upgrade to fighter. Ah, uh, that is so irritating. It's just not clear. Whatever. Like, look at this. Rebase. Like, look at this. This is upgrade to fighter. This is rebase. You can't tell me these don't look the same. They are the exact same icon. They literally look the same. Okay. All right, well, with that, in, never mind. All righty, split the group. All right, I'm getting just over 50% odds. Is this city on a hill? Of course, of course it's on a hill. Get extra defensive bonuses. Okay, there's one infantry that's very tough to crack, and then after that it should get much, much easier to take the city. So, this guy will probably die, but it should get easier to take the kill units after that. Yeah, well, of course he's not going to win at 50-50 odds. Of course not. But we did redline that unit. And that's what matters. Okay. All right, let's see. Do I have any super highly promoted units? No, I don't. Okay. Well, that's okay. We can still go City Raider 2, which doesn't give very good odds, but whatever. Better odds than Pinch would have given us. Oh, hey, we, got a, we won a low odds combat. Yes. Okay, so there's three more infantry, and then everything else is junk, and we'll start be able to start cutting through like a knife through butter. So we gotta, we're gonna lose a couple more tanks, taking out the top defenders. But after that, it should get very easy. Okay, so there's one 
No, there's two more full health infantry. Actually, I should be sending these guys in first. Yeah. So like I said, these couple tanks will take, will, like, will die, and then the ones behind... Oh, wow. Okay, so I've won twice at 30%. So, I uh, can't complain so much. I have now won two battles to make up for the ones I lost before. And now the odds have jumped to 67%. There we go. Okay. Now it starts getting much, much easier, because now I've cleared the infantry. Now, let's see, there's one cav, two cav... There's a bunch of cavs in here, but cavs don't get defensive bonuses. And watch, even with no promotions... This guy's getting 80-something 80 percent. Okay, so we'll promote him City Raider 2, and yeah, now it's 99. And from here on out, the battle should be easy mop-ups. Should be. I should be able to cut through just about everything without too much trouble. So we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, 95%. I'm attacking with the tanks that are two tiles away first because um, they only get one attack. See, these guys only get one attack, so I'd rather have the more difficult battles be with the guys who only get one attack. Uh, the guys that are next to the city can attack twice, so I'd rather have them use to mop up the last couple battles that'll be very easy. Yeah, 98%. See, cavs are not city defenders. Tanks are not either, but um, cavs even less so. Alright, so we mop that up. Now, let's see, now we can start using the guys that are next to the city. Look at this guy, City Raider. City Raider 3 Combat 1. Like, this guy just rips through, even though he's not full strength, but I don't care. He's gonna attack anyway. It's got more than nine, greater than 99% odds. Still just want, uh, goes right through it. Um, all right. Oh wait, I actually only get one attack because it's on a hill. Never mind. Okay, so I can't blitz attack them anyway in this city. That's fine. Still getting 99% odds on all these battles. All right. So now this guy who's heavily beat up, his top defender. It's okay. Clean him. Clean him up too. What do we have here? Some extremely damaged unit. Probably shouldn't take any damage in winning that battle. Nope, didn't take any damage. All right, now it's now we're really into the dregs. Now we're into catapults. See, note that there's still four catapults and three trebuchets. So this is why you keep around the old, outdated units. Like these calves will still serve a very real purpose. They can still wipe out these defenders at high odds. You know, 99% odds. So yeah, keep the calves around. They can keep up with the tanks. They still have two moves. And, you know, they can clean up trash like this as, any, as easily as a tank can. You know, there's usually a couple red line units or some siege like this sitting around. And you need units to clean them up. So you definitely do want to keep around those old units. As long as they can move twice and keep up with the stack, you're pretty good. You know, you're pretty good to go. Alright, so, clean this up. What's still left in here? Three trebuchets? You know, my calves have a field day killing these siege units. Alright. Let's see, yeah. See, if I didn't bring these units along, I, I literally wouldn't have enough attackers along with the attack to, to clean it all up. <laughs> you keep hearing that victory horn play over and over and over again. Is that the last one? Yes, there we go. Okay, I'm pretty sure I want to keep this. Yeah, look at all this stuff in here. Oh my god, look at all these wonders. Hanging Gardens, Colossus, Anchor Watt, Sistine Chapel. Ooh, Sistine Chapel is very nice. Notre Dame is very nice. Ooh, Kremlin too, yay! Ooh, the Kremlin. One of the best wonders in the game. Outstanding late game wonder. Oh, this is an excellent city. Sistine Chapel is very, very nice, too. Notre Dame, plus two happiness, every city on the continent. I will happily take that. Yes, we definitely want to keep this one. This is an outstanding city. Very, very good city. Okay. Well, I'll sort through all the micro related to capturing this city uh, next time. But this video is almost two hours long already. So I'm going to cut it off here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Next time, we'll continue pushing through the remnants of Carthage and uh, see how far we can get towards finishing them off. Until next time, take care. See you guys later. Have a great week.